Hi, I'm going to show you how to determine path difference. Being able to determine path difference is important if you want to successfully solve interference problems. So path difference alone is not super important, but knowing how to do it will lead you to being able to solve more interesting and complicated problems. Okay, so uh, let's say we have an arrangement of speakers and we have somebody listening to them. And we'll put the person here and we'll put speaker B down here. Okay, there's the potential for interference between these two speakers. The waves will overlap in space, and we want to be, the first step in making such a prediction is to determine the path difference. And let's say we happen to know that the person is seven meters away from speaker A, and they are four meters away from speaker B. And I'm going to leave off the units for all these problems because the symbol M is actually used for some other things, so that can get a little bit confusing. So. Um, so path difference is just how far the observer is from one source minus how far they are from the other source. And we typically take the larger number first. So the path difference, delta D, sometimes written delta R, is 7 minus 4, giving me 3. Okay, so that's it. That's, of course, a very simple situation. Um, but path difference is just how far you, away, you are away from one source minus how far you are away from the other source and um, that's it. Okay, so let's do a little bit uh, more complicated problem. Maybe you are given the locations instead of the distances, and it get, uh, gets a little bit harder in that case. So let's say that you have a speaker right here. We'll call that speaker A, and it's at a location of minus 7. And then we'll put the observer right here, and the person or the observer is at a location of minus four, and then speaker B will be over here at a location of five. Okay, so instead of distances, we're given locations. We can deal with that. So we determine the distance uh, for each of them. So distance A will be three meters, and distance B will be nine meters to be able to do that in your head. And then the path difference, you take the biggest minus, bigger minus the smaller. And so delta D will be nine minus three or six. Okay, so that's the path difference for this particular arrangement of speakers for this particular observer. Okay, I'm gonna do one more that's uh, even a little more complicated. So instead of giving you numbers for locations, I'm gonna have one of those things be a variable, and we can we can deal with that. So uh, let's have speaker A right here at a location of two, speaker B right here at a location of nine, and then we'll have the observer to the right at some unlo unknown location x. So it seems like, hey, we're not gonna be able to find a number here, okay? It was easy when everything was numbers, we could get numbers out of that. How are we gonna get a numeric solution when we have uh, symbol. Well, let's just blaze ahead and see what happens. So distance to A will be X minus 2. So if this was, you know, say it, X was 12, you'd be 10 meters away. So in terms of symbolic solution, distance to A would be X minus 2. And then distance to B would be X minus 9. So next step is to subtract. You always want to take the bigger minus the smaller. And so this, uh, the observer is further away from A, so we'll put this one first when we're subtracting. So delta D will be X minus two minus X minus nine. And it turns out that the X's cancel out, so it actually doesn't matter in this particular case where the observer is. And so we end up with an answer of seven so what that means is that the person is seven meters further from A than they are from B. And that actually turns out to be, you might have noticed, uh, the source separation between A and B. So in, uh, this is kind of a special case when you are along a line uh, connecting the two sources and you're uh, not between the two sources, then the path difference will actually equal the source separation. Okay? So, um, so yeah, so just be comfortable doing path difference under a variety of uh, conditions, and then you'll be able to hopefully solve interference problems. Okay. Thanks for watching.